Let's do some practice matches with the Universal style with Victoria in the Tour 7 of Tennis Clash, a sports game published by Wildfly Studios. So note that when I say Universal style in this video, I mean it's an all-rounder style that can adapt to compete with several other styles of play. So this first match I'm playing against uh, a player having a uh, high, pretty higher trophies a number and he's doing a lot of mistakes a lot of uh, unforced errors I mean in this match he's trying to um, to rush a bit to, uh, to shorten the rallies Why? Uh, it's a bit surprising because uh, he should know that better than anybody while playing with Kaito that the more the rallies are, are long and uh, the better are his chances to win actually and well plus he was playing with the Siran wire so why this rush I don't, uh, I don't understand much my forehand was not very strong in this match so just surprising to see some uh, unforced errors there yeah. he's clearly not very patient I've played him several times in Tour 7 and this time he looked like uh, more in a rush than <laughs> in other matches yep this is typical a typical unforced error shouldn't have I think I, that he shouldn't have tried to, uh, to control a bit better the uh, ball's trajectory, anyway. Yep, classic counter punch, ultra classic. Yep. Well, I know that uh, a lot of uh, subs and viewers say that uh, my serve of sixty is uh, is useless against uh, an agility of seventy and more but well I, I I find that on the contrary sometimes they uh, a bit disturbed actually it's not that uh, they are, ov are flanked by the serve but uh, they can commit more on for zero on the return just like the last point uh, that we uh, that I play in the in the previous match this one is making a lot of errors as well. An unforced error. At the beginning, at least. Don't understand much. Why? Why on those? Why are they so in a rush? Or maybe that is just their style. Maybe they just like to uh, to hit fast, to uh, to hit as soon as possible when the uh, when the the opponent's returns bounces. But well, a bit like Roger Federer, he likes to uh, you know to hit to as as soon as possible. Yes. Okay, I'm committing a lot of errors here. Oh my gosh. What is that? Oh my. Sometimes they make ridiculous serves. Yep. Trying to wrong foot thing. My opponent here. And at work. It yeah. This is clearly not good to try to play anything near the net versus a very agile Kaito doesn't work of course but it's better than to return anything else on the other side well when you have a strong forehand it was well too Defending as I could here and waiting for my time to place those strong forehands. Well, 
that will not be a match that will stay in history. Okay, so this one is a bit better. I mean, in, in terms of uh, match quality. Boom! And boom. He's almost exhausted. But, well, I was as well. Yeah. I don't understand those uh, <laughs> those players who try to, to serve that way. Because if if the opponent is experienced, this kind of uh, it's a serve, very low serve is useless, absolutely useless. And they they are impossible for for them to return afterwards. When, uh, as soon as the opponent is smashing back, it will work only versus uh, unexperienced players. Well, he has understood that and he has stopped doing that. Stop serving that way. And the least we can say is that he's not very accurate on the serves. Okay, always a threat to hit a strong forehand on those low serves. Let's make him visit the corners. Yeah, he's tired visiting. No more visit, no more tour. I've seen Shanghai enough. Now he's he's making he's trying to make me visit, but it didn't, didn't work. Okay, last man. I haven't crossed this one since a long time. Don't know if he has changed the nickname, the, the player's name. Tough. Mat Beast. I don't understand much those players taking the uh, Punisher Gut string to play versus uh, a strong forehand opponent. If this is just to uh, take to um, yep take profit of the uh, long catch here too, well they better take <laughs> Choker Corn. And I if it's for the critical. You should just take a swallow poly. Maybe it's just for the precision. But the precision will work, especially when I I hit uh, with my backhand. But I don't have a strong backhand. That's the example, perfect example. When I say that I don't have a strong backhand, fortunately my strong forehand is counterbalancing. Okay, so throw the opponent to the net and then place a corner forehand. Works like a charm. This one is trying to hit the... Uh, yeah. I think that he has seen fly jamming play a lot. To try <laughs> He's trying to return exactly like fly jamming. Towards the center mark. So as to avoid the opponent to, uh, to hit too strong forehands. Because this is not uh, as easy to hit strong forehands from... Uh, from the center mark compared to uh, a hit made on the baseline. So um, I have played versus this opponent quite a lot in 2-7. He likes to make 
drop shots on the re on the opponent's serves. Yep, a bit like that. He returns that way. So you gotta be uh, ready to rush to the net and hit that strong forehand. But sometimes I'm not ready simply because he chooses to alternate with long returns. That's why I'm not always near, um, ready to to rush to the net. But it didn't work there. And it's rather me who is doing this. This time it looks like it's not going to be good for me. Yep. Not good. Those sneaky returns. Fortunately, <laughs> she was forced to play the full leader. And somehow managed to make a very good drop shot. Drop shot, huh? I'm going to show you that they don't work anymore. The problem is that this opponent doesn't doesn't change the pattern much. Even if uh, she knows that uh, she has been read. I mean, wh when you see that the opponent has read your pattern, change it. Don't keep doing it. It's useless. But the problem is that um, she's too used to to play that way. So, so uh, this universal style has, uh, as I say in your previous videos, its pros and cons like all other play styles. It allows us not to be uh, too easily fooled by drop shots, while allowing to us to serve decently. So that's that's good to counter if we meet uh, power serve players especially if we can hit good spots on the service boxes and then we can follow up with a big forehand when there's a good occasion the uh, the backhand will be weak but not too weak anymore so it will not commit too many unforced errors but because it's an, an all around style so you, you don't have a have um, a lot of weapons over your opponent, except for your forehand. Actually, your serve is uh, it will not be as effective as uh, if you were playing with the power serve build. So, if your opponent has a very high agility, he will counter it easily, and you will not be very quick to move on the court. Versus a low serve, uh, aggressive baseliner style, for instance. So with that soft backhand, just the send serve and agility, you uh, you really need the string, like the swallow pulley, to have some critical and and some uh, tier one long catch. So I would say that uh, this universal style works above all versus players who don't have very high agility, and or who uh, who haven't trained enough to return most of the time on your weakest hand. That means my backhand here. So for this last match, things are uh, pretty easy. This opponent doesn't have a lot of uh, experience apparently. Starting by playing with the Master Monty. Betting on stamina only is not always the wisest of choices. S let's see, yeah, my latest lineup. So I only need 15 more cards to have victory at level 12. I can't wait. And that will be easier to unlock the tour 8 uh, with that. Well, I hope you enjoy watching me have some practice matches in tour 7 with uh, the universal style. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel Gameplay365 to stay tuned for new videos of Tennis Clash. Thank you a lot for your support and see you soon in Gameplay365. Bye-bye.